Hey guys, what's going on? So uh, basically, I just want to uh, show you a real quick video, and this is going to basically show you how to change the text on your iDevice, which is jailbroken. And you can use this on your iPod, your iPhone, or your iPad, and uh, as well as your Apple TV, I believe. So, um, but Apple TV is a little bit different than that. So we're going to stick away from that in this video. But basically, I'm just going to show you the uh, text changing. So. Uh, first things first, after you jailbroke in your device and you get to this stage, open up your Cydia. So let's open that up real quick. Oh, God. Alright, so now that you're in City, and City is all loaded and wonderful like that for you, now there's two things that I want you to realize. There's certain things used for certain iOS's. For an example, if you're running iOS 4.0 all the way up to 4.2, or 4.3.5, or whatever the fuck the last one is, um, you're going to be using this thing called Font Swap. So, uh, Font Swap is is basically um, what it says font swap f swaps out your fonts with other ones so for an example I'll search it right now font swap now this is for if you're on iOS 4.0 or, or any of the 4 point whatever iOS's you're going to be using this if it would load I'll tell you, I fucking hate Cydia sometimes. All right, font swap right here at the top. This is what you're going to be using. Now, me, I am using iOS 5.0.1. So any iOS 5.xxxx, whatever it's going to be, you're going to start using this. Once you get above iOS 4 and onward to iOS 5, you're going to want to um, go ahead and search this B Y T A and uh, you'll see it right there it's called by the font so I'll just search that real quick of course it fucking hit the wrong letter come on you piece of shit All right, so there it is right there at the top. This is the BYTA font, or by the font. Um, now, another thing that you must realize is that there are, you see these, the red T and the black T ones? These are ones that are only compatible with by the font. And by the font, it'll be listed at the bottom there as well. Underneath those two Ts, you'll see where it is listed and what it's compatible with. So if it says, um, like anything else, like if it says font swamp underneath it, it's not going to work with by font. So, um, so be sure you're installing the correct text as well. So, um, to make a long story short, go into this font, the uh, either the by font or the um, uh, font swap, and uh, you're going to hit install, and uh, you can either queue it if you want to go look for some text for you to download for the one that you're compatible with, or you can just uh, install it right fresh there. So you're gonna, I already have this, so it says modify, of course, but I'm just gonna simply go back here, and I've already got that installed. Respring your device after installing this. You do not have to require a reboot. So then after that, go select some text that you wanna download or whatever. So um, uh, let me pick one right here. Give me a second, let me find one. Alright, so I decided to pick this Beware font, whatever the fuck it is here, so, um, I'm gonna click on this More Info real quick, actually, that's not it, I'm gonna scroll down a little more, should be screenshots, there we go, screenshots on the font, so I'm gonna select that real quick, and let's go down and see what it looks like, so that's what it looks like, that's the font, that's what the font looks like, 
So I'm um, just going to go like this. I'm going to click install. And uh, just click confirm. And it's going to run its thing. Oh, God, that takes forever. I didn't realize that font files were so fucking slow to download until now. Come on. Alright, so return to Cydia after that is done installing or whatever fonts you've installed. And then exit Cydia. Okay, I said exit Cydia, not fucking have an aneurysm and fucking reload everything. Go away. Thank you. Alright, so now once that's done, you're going to scroll over here and you're going to locate your beta font or your font swap. So uh, open that up. So now I'm opening up my beta font because I'm on iOS 5. And uh, here is basically your fonts. So I don't know why that's there, but. Anyways, so. You'll see the Beware font, my Blood Omen font, and the LTO Kasana. Um, I'm just going to deselect this Blood Omen font just because. Um, and if you click like that, you know, the little blue tab or whatever, it'll show you a screenshot of the font. Anywho, um, <clears throat> so I'm just going to select this Blood Omen, hit yes, and now it's going to respring the device. So. Let that respring, and I'll be right back. All right, now as you can see, that my font has been changed to the Blood Omen font, basically. So that's how that is. That's what will happen if you respring your device. And like I said before, you can go back in and change your font back to whatever it was, or you can restore the original font. No big deal. Um, so yeah, but that's how you do that. So uh, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy your custom text. And again. Uh, for iOS 4.x, you're going to be installing font swap, and for iOS 5.x, you're going to be installing Bytefont. So remember that, and uh, rate, comment, subscribe. Check out my website, softwarereborn.com, and also check out my blog and follow me on Twitter if you want, uh, which is at DeathRing333. So yeah, take it easy, guys, and I will talk to you all later. Enjoy.